What is going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about Team Affinity. Every single team has an 88 overall Team Affinity player and these cards are in crack out. They are some of the best cards in the game at launch. This Team Affinity is called the 42. It's obviously based on the legacy of Jackie Robinson. So if you collect every 42 player, which it's going to be a bitch, you can get Mini Minosa for 10, Larry for Dobie for 20, and if you collect every single one, you can get this 99 overall Jackie Robinson, one of the four 99s in the game. The card art looks absolutely sick, and the stats look cracked out. 117 contact right, 125 contact left. Good power, good speed, good fielding. Definitely, if you are no money spent, you should be grinding out, trying to get as much of these 42 players as you possibly can, and then give it a few weeks, you might be able to get some of these cards, because the Mini Minosa and the Larry Doby, they honestly don't look too bad either and can definitely fit on a no money spent team. With that being said, today I'm going to show you guys the fastest way to complete these to where you really don't have to spend any coins and you get some of the best cards in the game. But before we get into that, I'm going to need you guys to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're going to be grinding out, posting daily MLB content. We're also going to be streaming on Twitch probably four, five times a week. So the link to that will be down in the description below. So taking a look at some of these team affinities, you want to go there based on divisions this year, not just individual teams, but you got all these by division. So you really want to grind out with one that has a bunch of players you want. I'm going to go with NL Central because I'm a Brewers fan. I really want to get this Keston here that they have, and they got some other good cards too. Get into that in a second, but you take a look. It's based off a TA system, and you get some decent stuff here. Some stadiums, some unlockables, some uh, silver and bronze players, nothing crazy there. Uniforms. I'm excited for that because I really want to get this Brewers uniform and it's a sick ad finally having team and minor league uniforms in the game But you get some stubs some packs these team of Findy packs can actually be really glitchy and help you out with some of the collections But the one you really want to get is going to be this NL Central 42 choice player pack You get 60 TA and in this it's a choice pack You get to pick any one of these five players so I can pick Hayward, Castillo, Hira, Hayes, R. Flaherty and I can add him to my squad and I really really want Castetti on my team. Really reverse blitz. He's got the 91 contact right, 114 power right. Card looks like an absolute glitch and you can put him at second base. So that's kind of what I'm going for. And then you got this boneless habit pack too, which we all know those are pretty glitchy as well. So it takes about 60 TA to get your first choice pack. And then after that, the next one you get is at 90. So it's only 30. And then the next one you get is at 110, so only 20. And then the next one you get is another 20 and then another 20. So as you progress, you need less and less points to get. So once you get that first one done, you might as well just grind out the rest of them, to be honest, because it's not going to take a ton longer. And the way you get all this stuff complete is you go down to the NL Central task. You see we got missions, moments, conquest, March to October, collection, and exchanges. Lots of different ways you can get TA to build up towards getting one of those choice packs. So there's three things that I would do that's going to help speed up this process and it's gonna make it so you really have to spend no coins. You take a look down here, March to October is a good way, but March to October takes like 12 hours to finish, it's not worth it. Collections is good if you're actually building up towards trying to get the chipper and some of these collections done, but you really don't get a ton of TA for each team, so it's not worth it in my opinion either. The ones that I think are worth it is doing the Central Affinity Conquest. That will give you 15 TA. If we go check out this conquest, we gotta be what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 teams. So it can be a bitch, it can take a while to do, but along the way, you also do get some packs as well so it does add up and there are some ball and a habit packs some gold player packs just a lot of different ways to build your team but the right there that'll get you 15 ta which isn't terrible but the best part about that is you can plug in players in your lineup that's going to help you get more points and i'll show you what i mean here if we go to missions tally innings with players in the central division. So just by adding Brewers, Cubs, Pirates, Cardinals, any of those guys I'm on my team, and then if I play that team affinity, or the Conquest map, three inning games with nine players, that's 27 innings I'm getting a game. So by the end of it, I'll get an extra five points if I finish all of Conquest, plus the 15, so there's 20 right there. But along the way, you're gonna constantly be locking packs and everything. And if we take a look at, I believe it's this pack, the Flashback and Legends, you get 20 TA. You get this Aguilar, or Dibble, a Wong, uh, 
Garrett Cole, and the Jake Arietta. If we look, they each have individual missions. So Arietta, if you get 4Ks with them, 8Ks with them, you get 4TA. Rookie Dibble, all right, complete that, 4TA right there. Two home runs with Aguilar, it's another 4TA. So as you slowly start to progress in Conquest, and then just kind of doing missions, you're gonna get more TA, and that's gonna add up to where you can get this choice pack, and then you can take one of those players, plug him into your lineup, so not only are you gonna be getting innings with that player to help with this part, but you're also gonna be working towards completing, say, the case with Arietta. No, that's a bad choice. Let's do homers with Aguilar, because he'll be in our lineup, so for each Conquest game, he'll be giving us three innings, Plus, I'll be working towards this home run total. So as you see, you're doing basically missions and missions and missions to try to add up with this TA. Moments is also going to be a good one. I'm not a big moments guy, but if you look here, we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. You got 10 TA, and these moments aren't pitched three innings. Tally two hits, two extra base hits. Strike out nine batters, that one's going to be. Just go after the easy ones, and you're getting TA for that. So grinding out some of these is going to take like two minutes, but if you're struggling with it, you don't have to complete it. So just to kind of reiterate everything I just said, do Conquest, 15 TA, but make sure you're plugging in players for that respective division that you are grinding out. So Brewers, Reds, whatever, if you're doing the Central Division, you'll kind of work towards TA. You'll probably, you'll get at least bare minimum 20 TA by the time you finish Conquest, plus you're getting some packs along the way. These moments are another great option too. That's another, you're at 30 TA already. But the big one that's going to by far and away give you the most TA and it's going to help get you some of these cards the quickest is if you go to exchanges here, we go to repeatable showdown voucher. One voucher is going to give you three TA. And if you don't know what uh, showdown is, it's something new they added last year. Basically, you play a freaking showdown. You just run through a bunch of games. It's pretty fun. It's a mixture of BR versus the computer is the best way to reiterate it. But you're going to get five vouchers by the end of it. You can add all five vouchers to the central division. So every single time you complete a showdown, you're going to be getting 15 TA. And I'd say a showdown takes about an hour to do give or take sometimes it can be faster sometimes it can be shorter but some of these games are pretty quick and if you're really really good at the game you can just fast forward to the boss and play that every single time you're down 12 to 0 with only 15 outs so it's really hard and i don't recommend doing it but hey man if you're cracked out go for it so just to show you what showdown is like i said best way to describe it is going to be a br versus cpu hey justin bieber but the one you're going to want to do is going to be the steam affinity season one start draft you do have to have 500 stubs in order to do it so it's really nothing crazy but in this you are drafting a team so you see here we get to pick between john carlo franimal and we're gonna go let's go sean it. let's go Fran Reyes. This is also going to be a nice way for you to actually get to test out some of these 42 cards to kind of see, get a feel for the swing, get a feel for some of these cards you might want to try picking up along the way. So I'm just going to try and hurry up and quick through forward through some of this draft. So after we drafted our team and everything, we are finally in the showdown. You see the final showdown, you got 15 outs, you're down zero to 12. In order to get to that, you got one, two, three games. Then the scary red dude right here, it's a boss battle. So if you lose that, you're done. You have to start all over. But these three right here, if you lose them, it doesn't matter. Each win you get, it's going to add runs to that final showdown to make it a lot easier. I'll show you what I mean in a second here. We'll play that first one. But the red ones, you don't want to lose. You need to win those games. But then you only got to face one. And then this big scary ass dude right here, win that, you get the five affinity vouchers. That's going to give you 15 TA every single time you do it. Like I said, it's not long. You got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games to play. And they're not even games. I'll show you how quick this is. We'll go in this one right here. And I believe with this one, I literally just have to get one out. One out, bases are loaded. If I give up a run, I lose. With this one, if I get an out, I win. And I get two runs added to the final showdown. Oh, just kidding, I lied, I'm batting. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, I think we just need to get a hit. I'm gonna hit a piss missile right at him. But I can't exit it, because if I exit it, I end up losing. That ball's crushed. Get the fuck out of here. Oh my God, did I get it? I didn't get it. Trent, I just need two hits, that's easy. Two hits before I give up two runs. But a lot of these aren't gonna be hard. And they're on rookie difficulty right here. So all I got to do is really put a good swing on the ball. And it's going to be... Dude, I freaking suck. Two seconds later. 
I hate Showdown. I'm never playing Showdown again. So we ended up losing the first one on rookie difficulty, but you see, I still got more chances to play this final boss battle, try to get a bigger lead. I think it's going to be two runs for every single one. So by the end of it, we could be only down like five runs or some shit like that. I don't know, man. I'm depressed. Okay. But as you can see, there's a lot of different ways to get these team infinities done. Where last year, it would simply just be doing the freaking whatchamacallit, the showdown that I just showed you, and then it'd be doing a bunch of exchanges, exchanging your bronzes, your golds, your silvers. That's not the move this year. The best one is going to be doing these missions, so the innings, the freaking moments with some of these players that you end up getting by playing in the conquest, which is going to get you another 15 TA. Just get some of these easy moments done. They're going to be easy TA points, but then after that, simply grind out that showdown that I just showed you because for each one you're gonna get 15 TA so it doesn't take a insanely long time to complete I'd say about an hour tops but if you think about it, it take about 4 TA in order to get this first pack then after one it's essentially gonna take two then after that it's gonna be almost one each time so it does get a lot easier once you get to that first 90 but hopefully this video did help you boys out. If it did, be sure to drop a like and let me know in the comment section which 42 player you're going to get. Are you going to grind out every single one, try to get that 99 overall Jackie Robinson? I honestly want to know who the first person in the world is going to be to get because I don't think anybody's got it yet. But if this video did help, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'm out. Peace.